First, President Trump stepped up campaign to discredit the Russia investigation. The newest focus is on claims that the FBI spied on his campaign, something that he is now calling Spygate. So what I want from Rod, from the FBI, from everybody, we want transparency. And Leaving you know the White House, the president way. pressed again they for full disclosure by the Justice Department and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. He is overseeing special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia probe. The president has already demanded justice investigate whether the FBI illegally infiltrated his 2016 campaign. All you have to do is look at the basics and you'll see it looks like a very serious event, but we'll find out. This issue did not come up this afternoon as the president and Rosenstein sat mere feet from each other at a roundtable on immigration in New York. But earlier, Mr. Trump tweeted that elements of the Justice Department are part of the, quote, criminal deep state caught in a major spy scandal. Secretary of State and former CIA Director Mike Pompeo contradicted the president's long-running deep state accusations while testifying today on Capitol Hill. You know, this, this term deep state's been thrown around. <laughs> um, I, I say this, the, the employees that worked for me at the CIA uh, nearly uniformly were aimed at achieving the president's objectives and America's objectives. Thank you. And that's your experience also when you interact with colleagues at the FBI and Department of Justice as well? Uh, yes. Uh, there, there are always exceptions to every rule. I've never led an organization that didn't have bad actors. Um, I don't think any government organization is exempt from having malfeasance as well. All of this after reports that an FBI informant named Stefan Halper did meet with three Trump campaign officials in 2016. At least two, Carter Page and George Papadopoulos, were already on the FBI's radar for contacts with Russians. Tomorrow, Republican leaders of the House Intelligence and Oversight Committees receive a rare classified briefing on the issue from Justice Department and intelligence officials. When they look at the documents, uh, I think people are going to see a lot of bad things happen. I hope it's not so, because if it is, there's never been anything like it in the history of our country. But and, and Democrats, including Congressman Joaquin Israel. Castro on the House Context. Intelligence Committee, the pushed Intelligence back today after no Republican Democrats Democrat were invited to the briefing. So this very much is a departure from standard operating procedure, and it makes it seem more like a Trump legal defense team meeting than anything else. The president today also went after James Clapper, former director of national intelligence, for saying any informant would have likely been looking for Russian interference in the 2016 election. If you look at Clapper, he sort of admitted that they had spies in the campaign yesterday inadvertently. But I hope it's not true, but it looks like it is. For his part, Clapper disputes that, defends his long career, and offers a tough assessment of President Trump in his new book, Facts and Fears, Hard Truths from a Life in Intelligence.